is the truth really out there? Today, the Pentagon's top UFO official testifying before Congress, acknowledging the massive public interest in and answering questions about recent UFO sightings. Correspondent Kelly Meyer is live at the White House. Kelly, any surprises coming from today's testimony? So much interest in this topic, Nicole, and some of the big takeaways today, just the sheer number of UAP or unidentified aerial phenomena reports that they are hearing hundreds more incidents than they previously thought. Uh, but as far as they're saying, no evidence of any extraterrestrial activity. So this was a rare open hearing, the second only in more than 50 years. The first one took place around this time last year. The top UFO chief from the Pentagon telling lawmakers today they are currently tracking over 650 cases of UAP or unidentified aerial phenomena. They say they prioritized half of them of interest and at least 150 of them are characterized as balloons or balloon-like entities. The Pentagon says the ongoing review of these incidents as now required by law helped U.S. officials identify China's spy balloon program, but still there are some questions around some of these UAP incidents that they describe these incidents as metallic orbs, and they shared some new video in the hearing today I want you to take a look at. This is essentially all of the data we have associated with this event from some years ago. It is going to be virtually impossible to fully identify that just based off of that video. So as you see, still some questions left unanswered. That new video was released today during the hearing. It was captured by a U.S. military drone in the Middle East. The Pentagon UFO chief also some, drawing some attention to foreign adversary capabilities like Russia and China, saying, quote, that they are less risk averse uh, at technical things than we are. Lawmakers calling for more increased funding for this uh, office uh, as a result of what we saw with the Chinese spy balloon incident. Uh, New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand chairs that committee and says that it's been underfunded now for the second year in a row, she says. Nicole? It's certainly lots of interest uh, in the topic. Okay, Kelly, thanks. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.